A long-awaited release for Parrot OS, Parrot 5.0 is now available to download and install with new images and security tools. Let's dive in and review Parrot for those of us who need a refresher to this wonderful pen testing distribution. So to start right out, we have some brand new security tools. So let's pull those tools up and talk about them. So we got Pock Suite 3, an open source remote vulnerability testing tool, IV Optive, a payload creation framework for execution of VBA macros, Python 3 Pcode dump, a powerful VBA Pcode disassembler so you can expect code, Mimi Penguin, a powerful shell Python script used to dump a login credentials of a desktop user, FFUF, which can help with virtual host discovery, OLE tools for malware analysis, forensics, and debugging, Find My Hash, which tries to crack different types of hashes using online services, directory search, a tool that helps you brute force directories and files on web servers, and PyInst Extractor, which is a script that helps you extract the contents of a Py installer generated Windows executable file. All right, now let's check out and discuss what all is new here. We'll check out the desktop environment in a moment, but one of the biggest things here is that they've switched up their release model, now focusing on long-term support. Packages are tracked after the Debian stable cycle. Instead of Debian testing, this will make sure that there are no large changes for at least two years, so you know you have a reliable system without updates that could potentially break the system. The installer has remained the same, and we'll check out the desktop. Now, if we go to applications in the top left-hand corner, You'll notice that you have various different subcategories, including privacy, office, internet, graphics, sound and video, games, pen testing, programming, system tools, system services, accessories, and universal access. Some of the most important ones here are pen testing, which give you access to all the different various pen testing tools or vulnerability testing tools available on the system. We won't go through all of these because there is an, an abundant amount of tools that you can use. And this of course comes with the security edition of Parrot OS. You also have the option of getting the home edition, which doesn't have any of the pen testing tools, but it still has programming tools like extra IDEs and compilers that come standard in the home edition. VS Codium being one of those IDEs. Next we'll go to places where it's just the home users directories and some quick options like searching the network, connecting to a remote server and using the search tool. System gives you system preferences, administering the system, control center, about the desktop environment, which is Mate, locking the screen, logging out and shutting down. The default web browser can be quickly launched from here, which is Firefox. You have quick access to the terminal and Pluma, a text editor to the right of that. All right, and another important thing to mention, not only have they updated their website, so it looks completely different now. Check it out if you haven't seen it in a while. It does look pretty good. But a few nice things to mention is that KDE and XFCE all desktop alternatives are not available anymore and have been replaced with their flexible architect edition of Parrot OS. So if we look over here, notice you have the home edition, which is a general purpose operating system. Then you have the security edition for pen testing and red team operations, cloud edition, made for embedded systems and cloud environments, including virtual machines and special deployments, Architect or IoT. This is Parrot OS with nothing pre-installed. You get to install everything and anything, including the desktop environment. A great one for people who like custom and make their own system. Finally, some new addition is Parrot has now announced a Raspberry Pi image for Raspberry Pi 4. Without a desktop environment, you can install whatever you like here. Gives you some credentials, but this is in the testing phase so far. But you could have a pretty lightweight ethical hacking device by throwing this distribution on a RAS Pi. Are you ready to start learning about Linux today? Check out my Linux checklist and cheat sheet at learn.savvynick.com. We'll move on in the desktop environment. Notice that the wallpaper, of course, has changed. It looks like the parrot's throwing lightning out from its feathers. It's pretty wild. But in the middle top, we still have access to the system monitor telling us what we're running, which is the release 5.0 known as Electric Aura, the 64-bit version. It's using kernel 5.16, tweaked by Parrot, and we have Mate running as our desktop environment. All of this gets us to the system monitor, but this is for processor usage, memory usage, and network usage. So you can quickly see what's happening with those three. On the right-hand side, we have volume control, wired or wireless connection control, and finally the calendar with the current date and time. 
On the bottom right, you'll notice some grayed out rectangles. And the one in blue is the current workspace that you're working with. And then you have up to three more workspaces that you can go between, giving you four virtual workspaces for your desktop. You have automatic sleep down at the bottom. If you have an eye, that means it's inhibited and won't work. On the background, you do have a few things and you can move them around freely as you see fit. If you right click, you can create a folder, create a launcher, create documents, open a terminal, organize the desktop by name, keep things aligned and change the desktop background. Parrot OS is still based off Debian and now uses the stable release of Debian as its base. It's a great alternative to Kali Linux and offers a large selection of cybersecurity tools that you can use with the security version. On the bottom left, you have your menu, which gets you to a lot of the things that you could see up with applications, some of the same categories you'll notice, but we have favorites all, which is one of my favorites because you can just go through everything right here with one section or category. Then you have accessories, administration, games, graphics, internet, office, pen testing again for all your pen testing tools, preferences, privacy, including Anon Surf GUI, which will allow you to remain anonymous using a different IP address on the internet, both through your terminal as well as your web browser. Programming, sound and video, system services, system tools, universal access, and the control center, which gives you more administrative tools. Finally, at the bottom, you have logging out and shutting down the current session. And if you want to search for anything, you can do it at the top. Let's say I wanted to search for Anon Surf, I can, and all the results come in at the right hand side. You can use Synaptic Package Manager in order to install more packages. It will require administrative privileges, so make sure to put your root password in. And this is a great tool if you haven't used it to look up all sorts of packages, including those pen testing and security packages that you can download. As you can see here, Eric Crack. NG is already installed on the system, but there's plenty of subcategories that you can go through and easily install things on the system. The minimum system requirements here for Parrot is a dual core x86 64 bit processor with at least two gigs of DDR2 RAM and at a very minimum 20 gigabytes of hard disk space, but you'll want to go more than that. I've had issues on installing Debian based distributions on less than 32 gigs. Since it comes standard, I want to launch HTOP so we can view what the current resource usage is. Pretty minimal here for the Matei desktop, 660 megabytes out of eight gigs currently being used. The processor is between zero and 1.3%. The tasks are 78, 150 threads, and the system has been up for around 19 minutes. Not bad at all, no swap being used, plenty of processes running in the background. All right, and running NeoFetch, we can check out the system information. This is Parrot OS 5.0 Electric Aura x86 64-bit running a modified kernel 5.16. There's 2,926 source packages installed here in the security edition, less, of course, in the home edition. Shell is Bash 5.1. The desktop environment is Mate 1.24. Window Manager, MetaCity, the theme Arc Dark. Icons are Aura. Default terminal is, of course, the Matei terminal. It comes with multiple different ones in case you like using a different terminal. We're emulating this on an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X series, and the current memory usage is 678 megabytes out of 8 gigs. So before I mentioned that they've switched up the release model and are now focusing on long-term support. There is, however, a caveat, which for all the security tools, they'll keep a rolling release model so that you can keep up with the latest and greatest in pen testing and ethical hacking. Finally, I wanna mention, if you launch a terminal in any version that's older than the 5.0 Parrot OS version, you can upgrade by doing sudo parrot upgrade. Doing this will ask you for a password, put your password in, and this will start the process of updating your entire operating system from an older version to the latest version of Parrot OS. Good thing to know. And they make it extremely simple for you. Well, I've used Parrot OS in the past, the security edition, and I gotta say, there wasn't quite a lot of changes to the system, but it looks like they've made a lot of organizational changes, including the images that are available, and they've rethought the release model, including revamping their website. So it's definitely exciting to see development in Parrot OS. Let me know what you think about this release and whether you'll be upgrading or switching over to it for a little bit. 
If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comments section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.